Welcome everybody. So today we're going to see the stained glass windows of the Chapel of the Blessed Sacrament. It is there that the brothers have their early silent prayer before loads every morning. Let's see the stained glass window, which is on the left. It's in honor of the Virgin Mary, who presented on top. She is wearing a crown, and you can think it's in honor of the coronation of the Virgin Mary, as in the baptistry. But in fact, it's in honor of her Immaculate Conception. The stars surrounding the face of the Virgin Mary, the scepter she holds in her hand, the white flower in front of her, express in some ways that mystery, but foremost on the right, kneeling and writing, is a well-known Franciscan theologian, John Don Scott, as he came from Scotland. He was beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1993, precisely because he was very much in favor of Mary being declared immaculate from her conception, which is without original sin, at the time when the dogma had not yet been proclaimed. Below, you have two doctors of the church. Uh, one is uh, St. Bonaventure, which is Bonaventure, which is so much uh, loved by the boys that go to the college nearby. He is all dressed in red because he was a cardinal. He went even to the Council of Lyon. The other is St. Bernardin of Siena, also doctor of the church and a Franciscan. Now you have also the name of the lady that gave this stained glass window, her uh, first name is precisely Mary, and she died on the very day of the visitation, on 31st of January 1900. 1900, that's a date which is so easy to remember, and that uh, takes us back in all the history of this church. Okay, joke of the day. Tommy comes home from school and he goes to see his father who's reading the newspaper. And he goes, Dad, yeah, um, you went to the same school as me, didn't you? I did, yeah. Um, and did you have the same teacher as me? The old Mrs. Kelleher, you know, the one who's in her, in her 70s. Yeah, I did actually, she was my teacher. And how long ago was that? Uh, it was 30 years ago now, actually. Uh, hmm, okay. So the father puts on the paper and he goes, why are you asking that question, son? He goes, well, she said to me today, we haven't seen somebody as stupid as you here since 30 years ago. <laughs>